Um, you know, that's uh, that's it's a tough game to swallow because they, they come in here without their best player in the league score. And uh, we finally do some of the things that uh, um, we've been you know working on. We took care of the ball. We forced more turnovers than we committed. We had two to one assist to turnover ratio as a team. Those are all bright spots, shot 44%. And you lose the game because you give up 13 more offensive rebounds than you get, <laughs> 19 offensive rebounds, because you shoot 47% from the foul line. You know, those are uh, things that we can control, and those are hopefully uh, learning experiences. We need uh, to put uh, some extra time in at the free throw line and uh, get relaxed and poised and, and knock those shots down. Hats off to them, 93% or something from the free throw line tonight. They went there 14 for 15, made them count, and that's how you win a three-point game. Um, Tanya does a good job with that team, and uh, it was uh, would have been nice to finish uh, with a winning record in the non-conference, but uh, we'll have to postpone that for next year. And look forward to conference play and uh, turning the calendar. Questions? Claire, you had another big uh, offensive performance, 25 last time, 19 this time. What is it lately that you've really been able to consistently turn out big time? Um, I think just putting more work in the gym. I've definitely, um, over the break, tried to get in the gym a lot more, try to get work on my shot, work on the shots within the offense. I think it's helped a lot. Um, and also, like, the teammates, everyone's moving off the ball more and, like, we're working together, finding the open players, and I'm getting a lot of good shots. Do you mean like like when Temple like, like got caught their up. run? Yeah. yeah. Like how do you? I mean, that's what the game of runs. If mm -hmm. you want the run, and then you gotta be able to stop a run. How do you? Yes. How do you stop a run? Um, I feel like in order to stop a run, you have to get stops and score. Like that's how build that momentum and that energy for your side and calm them down when they are getting hot. So you just gotta make good plays, be in the right spots at the right time, um, do the detailed things, the little things. And then that gets your team riled up, and then you come down, hit shots, make plays. If you're disciplined and detailed and um, doing the things you're supposed to be doing defensively, um, it shouldn't be a game of runs. You should be able to, you know, the other team will make a play here and there. But if you're doing it right consistently, you're going to get stops consistently. When you don't get stopped consistently and they get hot, then you're in trouble. I think you be disciplined and detailed, and you eliminate runs. Julina, on a sort of a broader level, I mentioned you're about five away from tying the all-time record of blocks. What is it about your game that that is such a heavy emphasis that it's common for you to have five games? Honestly, I couldn't even tell y'all, to be honest. I don't know. I just feel like I'm in the right spots at the right time. Uh, just my timing, I guess, is right. Um, I really don't. It's nothing special that I do or that I even, like, really try to do. I just, it just comes to me, really, I guess. Matt, in the last two games, uh, Kayla Braxton Young has had 12 assists to two turnovers. Can you speak to maybe her growth over the past couple of weeks? Yeah, so we, um, you know, obviously we've been without Deja, uh, <coughs> but that was, you know, the, as the whole team knows uh, from, you know, two weeks ago, um, playing time was up for grabs, and, and we competed really hard in practice, and the kids who performed are the ones who you saw on the court, and it didn't have to be Kayla. We had played someone else at the point, and she earned it. So she went out there and practiced and earned it and made plays. And uh, you, uh, everybody who was watching the game from the stand saw me fussing at her quite a bit. So <laughs> she's still not without her freshman mistakes. But, um, you know, point guards have been taking care of the basketball, and that's been uh, really good for us and really a uh, really big help. Final question? Okay. What uh, you, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So obviously it's been a tough stretch so far. Um, what is the game plan to get out of that tough stretch? Like mm -hmm. how to So you, you just you, you just go about the process every day, um, asking of them to give everything they have. Us as a staff, we're preparing um, and trying to be as detailed as we can. And um, with a young team, you you grow through every practice, every experience. And I think the schedule kind of helped us out early. The schedule was tougher late. Um, I don't think we've been drastically different at any point. Um, the teams uh, we've played have had <laughs> different, different styles. And, um, but the last two games, um, Villanova and Temple are a little bit more talented. 
but very similar to the teams we played at the beginning of the year. And you see we scored in the high 60s um, and were effective. <coughs> the games we played uh, leading up to that, so in, in Navy and Ryder and, and Drexel, different style that wasn't good for us. And uh, when we play one of those teams again, teams that play a similar style, we'll see if we grow or not.